then just just prepare, guys. Prepare to have your mind blown, because this is crazy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderful world of Minecraft. We are back again in our vanilla world, and today I'm just going to be fixing my pickup to start with. But today, if I hit F3, you guys can see that we are in, up there in the top left-hand corner, we are in 16W50A, which is the newest snapshot for Minecraft 1.11.1. .1. And there's some really cool stuff in here that we're going to be checking out. So let me just fix this pickup real quick. And it works best if I take it off the sword. Oh yeah, all that XP. Drinking it in. There's about 200 spiders in there, so that should be plenty of XP to fix this pickup. So yeah, I'm going to do this real quick, and then we're going to start getting into this episode. Okay guys, so I got my pick all done, and now the next thing we're going to be working on is going to involve making some swords. Where we, what, what, what are we? Oh, okay. We're all fine. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't know where I was going. Ouch. That kind of hurt. Or it looked like it did, but it didn't really. So what we're going to be doing here is making some swords because there is a new enchantment that uh, I believe works just with swords. And I want to check it out. So let's see if we can get lucky and get it. If we do this smite, uh, that's not it. How about this? Oh, Sleeping Edge 2. There we go. So we will try that one just so we for sure have something to play around with. And, okay. Needed some extra swords anyways. Another Sleeping Edge 2. Okay, so we can combine those two, I think. If we have an anvil around here somewhere. Let me find an anvil real quick. We're probably going to have to go back down to find it. Okay, guys, so we've got an anvil here. And I believe, yep, you can do Sleeping Edge 3, combine it. Which one's cheaper, 18 or 12? This one's cheaper. And also got sharpness and fire aspect with it too. But I believe what this does is it increases the amount of damage that you do in your sweeping blow to the mobs that aren't directly beside what you're hitting. I think that's what it does anyways. So I'm trying to think what would be a good way to test that out. Okay guys, so I think this is how we're going to test it. We've got, uh, I've come down here to our zombie spawner and I've got a few of them here. Also, that's another feature in this uh, snapshot. If you guys see that uh, exclamation point below the little uh, sword thingy, I think that basically just lets you know that you're close enough to actually hit them. Which actually, maybe hit them with a sword? I I'm guessing that's what it is. But uh, anyways, what uh, we have here is two swords, one with sharpness 2 and fire aspect 2. This one has fire aspect 2, sharpness 2, uh, sweeping Edge 3 and Unbreaking, which the Unbreaking shouldn't make any difference. So basically what we're going to do here is see if we hit this guy over here. So we should, we'll end up killing the guys in the middle. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see. We end up killing the guy that we're aiming at a lot quicker than the guys beside it, basically is how it works. But with, uh, supposedly with uh, Sleeping Edge 3, you do 75% of what you hit on the person you're facing to all the other creatures that you're hitting. So if we go back over here, because these guys shouldn't be as damaged, then you can... I, I think it's it's noticeable. I know that's not... Uh, this wasn't a very uh, professional test, I guess, but uh, this isn't supposed to be very professional. This is just me playing around in here, and I think it works pretty well, though. And since you can put it on top of sharpness... I might be adding this to my sword, although I can't put it on my sword right now because that's too expensive. Also, another thing in the enchanting department that they changed is uh, I was watching Exumavoid's video that he released a few hours ago, and with bows, you can no longer put infinity after you put mending on, but I believe you can put infinity on and then put mending on, and it'll still work. So I'm not 100% sure. You know, that's not, not a huge change. You just have to be careful. Uh, how you put it on. Excuse me, sir. I need that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. But now, guys, we are moving on to the really fun stuff in this snapshot. So I will see you up at the surface. Okay, guys, so if you have seen anybody else's videos on this snapshot, you probably already know what I'm talking about. 
But if you haven't, then then just just prepare, guys. Prepare to have your mind blown because this is crazy. Okay, so what you do is you have paper and you put gunpowder on top of it and it makes firework rockets, which are, uh, I'll, I'll show you what they do here, but you can make, you notice how it says uh, uh, flight duration one. Then if you do this, you get flight duration two and actually we'll make uh, a couple of each of them. And then as you guys might have guessed, if you put three here, then you get flight duration of three. So now let's try these things out. Basically what they are is rockets that you can use while you're flying. I know guys, this is, this is incredible. So we're gliding along here. Oh! <laughs> oh, and they work amazing. That was the, uh, the one, right? No, this was flight duration two. So this is flight duration one. Let's go into F3 here. We're at about 90. Let's hit it, hit it and see how high we can go. We go up to about 160. So that's about 70 uh, blocks in elevation that we can go up with the one. So let's try with the two. Let's go down to about 100. And... <clears throat> taking me a while to get there. There we go. And then go back up. And looks like we're at about... 83 or so so and that could have been somewhat different just because I was moving faster when we started it and everything but then if we go back down let's go to about a hundred here and hit on three we went a little bit below but that's all right we go up and actually didn't go as far as with the two so probably just uh, problems in technique it doesn't seem to make it that much or make that much of a difference between these and uh, the little bit of difference that it does make I would say is not worth the extra gunpowder especially if you have a limited supply like I do but this guys is opening up a whole new world for us because I think now it's gonna be a lot easier to do uh, like flying obstacle courses and stuff Whereas before, you'd have to hit the bow just right and everything. You know, now you can... Ooh, get kind of fancy with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with this now. And I'm sure I'm going to be playing around with this a whole lot in the near future. Let's whack it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, there we go. Saved ourselves. Oh, this is awesome, guys. <laughs> This, this is what Minecraft is all about right here. Uh, it is pretty overpowered, I would say, but this is pretty cool. Basically, you have infinite flight as long as you have enough of these firework rockets now. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's probably about everything that was covered. Oh, covered in this update. You have to be careful. You could get yourself into some trouble with these things. But uh, yeah, I'm, think I'm thinking in the very near future... I'm going to have to make a mob farm for uh, uh, creepers only because I know there is ways of doing that and uh, that will give me plenty of gunpowder because I've used pretty much all the gunpowder I had making these. So <laughs> I'm going to need a whole lot more of these guys. What happens if you just... Oh, you can't use them if you're not... Uh... Oh. Oh they, don't, oh, they don't explode. You can still shoot them off. They just don't explode. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. And uh, tell me in the comments what you think of these new rocket things. I think they're flipping awesome. That's what I think. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.